So today we're shooting a music video for Arena. The set's being used as a essentially like a video game set where our director Dave Ferner has designed a fantasy world in which Rena inhabits and goes on a journey within her own mind. I'm so used to being able to create whatever world I want virtually, but then of course you can't bring that into the real world. So to have something tangible, it's just completely surreal. We've got an array of LED reflective markers which the camera tracker looks at. That triangulates the position of our film camera and allows the 3D scene which we are generating in real time to move in response to our film camera. Right again. Oh, look around. See the bed. Walk over to the bed. On your mark and sleep is easier to imagine rather than a green screen where it's like this will be happening here and you can see it in real time as well which is really cool um, in the monitor whether there's going to be like an overlay over me if there's like grass or something in front of me it's obviously a lot of prep work but then when you're doing it you're in the moment yeah that's great that really works. five six seven eight we go in two one technique we're, we're exploring is the idea of combining the traditional green screen workflow with this virtual production workflow with the LED screens. So being able to you know, maintain the flexibility that green screen gives you, whilst also benefiting from the, you know, the real-time reflections and, and the lack of green spill. So to do that, we're, we're essentially applying green screen, the area of the LED that the camera sees, and then outside of that we have our, our projected environment. We wanted the ability to have that larger scale to, to make the talent look kind of lost in this, in this huge world and using the extended reality was the best option to do that. We can extend the LED wall itself, but not physically speaking, we're not adding more panels on the LED screen. We're extending the screen by adding augmented reality graphics on the sides of it. To me, this feels like the future of music video production. I think it's just a really smart way to work as well. I think there's not a lot of like, you know, transferring location and transport and stuff like that. And especially this year, how Corona has gone, you just never know what's gonna happen next year. But I think this is pretty much Corona or not, I think it's a really good solution. I'm so excited to see this sort of technology coming about because it, it creates a bridge between um, live action film in a sort of location setting and between green screen filming in a way that means your environment is so much more a part of what you're doing and allows you so much more creativity. One of the things that I've personally found the most interesting in the last week is the fact that as a cinematographer I can explore a virtual world exactly the same as I would a physical world and I can explore a set that when I look through the camera, is real, but it only exists within a video game. And that is a 